Oh my god! Oh my god, gang! It's garden week here on Bees on Toast. Toast! I'm Claire! My name's Jason! And we've got so much in store for today's show. Now, we are in the garden, which makes things pretty exciting, doesn't it, Jason? We really like coming to the Bees on Toast garden in our spare time. But the weather's so good, the producer said we could come out here today! And it is so amazing! But there's one thing about gardens that make it really horrible is that sometimes there's pesky slugs that eat away at all of our vegetables. They do, but luckily we've got some cool slugs next. Eat some music, eat some slugs, take it away! Peace! It's a lovely day. Would you like a cup of tea? I would love a cup of tea, Jason. We just... like a brew on this show, don't we? We love a brew, Jason, but I'm just so worried. Why about worried? Robin. Robin's still stuck inside the filter. Baby Frank went in there. He's managed to get himself out of there. But without Robin, Robin's still in the filter. I see, I didn't know that. Right. Beanie Babies. Please get in the filter and try and save Robin. He's just a small kid. He's been stuck in there for weeks and none of you guys, I'm sorry for shouting, but none of you guys have basically done nothing to help. And they're grown up kids. A little baby's tried to do it and you guys haven't even tried. It's not cool. It's not cool at all. Right. Uh, I want milk in mine, Josh. Yeah, we'll, we'll do, but first of all, it's City Lives.
dig it deep, Charlie. We've got to fit the whole box in. I can't believe he's gone, Charlie. At least he's gone to a better place. He hasn't. He's trapped inside a box. Rest in peace, Mario. But I'm not dead. How did you get that into your head? This is all very weird. I have to get out of here. Home? years old. Me neither. We haven't had a visitor in 63 years. I'll go and see who it is. Awesome city lives, and we love those boys. They're always up oh, to yeah. such naughtiness and nonsense. <laughs> well, I can't, I can't speak for you, Claire, but I'm mm. loving Golden Week. It is so chillaxing. It is, and thanks for the brew. I mean, it's a little bit anemic, but um, we have poor one for Jamie, but he's not showing up. Do you know what? It's only that guy's second day at work, and he's not here. He's skiving already. Mm. It's crazy. And Jamie loves quizzes, which reminds me. It's time for the quiz. Do you get a quiz up, producer? Damien, you got a quiz up? Is it up? Last night, I think. Jamie. Right. So it's time for our quiz for your chance to play the infamous Duck or Jumper. Faith had an amazing game last week. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Oh, so yeah. the question this week is: Which famous city is named after a piece of fruit? Is it A. New York, B. Old York, C. Appleby, or D. Lincoln? Comment. In the side, we'll find a winner. Oh, yeah. But that one's flummoxed me a little bit today. I know I'm, you're not that great on your geography, Claire. I'm not really. But I suppose it's time for a little bit of upbeat fun. Yeah, why not? So let's head over to the Beanstie Boys.
that was the unparalleled Beanstie Boys with their new jam, I don't eat green. Too cool, Claire. I think there's some really cool music on this show. They are too cool for school. Now oh, you're yeah. looking pretty chillaxed, Jason. Am I right in thinking you're pretty chillaxed? Gardening week really is my jam. Big time. What? All that talk of food's got me hungry. I've not had my breakfast this morning. I feel a bit faint. Claire, what are you doing? You know you've got to have a good breakfast before we do the show. I know, I just had a banana because I didn't have time and no one made me a bacon butter. Well, do you know what? All this sitting around, I think we need to do a bit of warming up, a bit of stretching. What about we go see our mate Joe Wicks? Oh, I think that's a mighty fine idea, Jason. She doesn't know. Oh, so I'm here in the kitchen. Um, I thought I'd do a little secret for Claire. I'm gonna cook her some beans on toast. So here we have uh, beans in their can. This is what they look like when you're cooking them. Claire, two slices of bread. Pop them in the toaster. Bish, bash, bosh. Oh. Hey, 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 what is going on here? Making beans on toast. Jamie, you know the score. This is gardening week. This is cooking week, man. We've already had a complaint come in. We've had a complaint. What, what about? Hello, your call cannot be taken at the moment. So please leave your message after the tone. Hello, yes, um, yeah, it's Stuart from Grindleford here, and, um, yeah, I just thought I'd ring in because, um, you guys said it was, um, gardening week, and I had my trail at the ready, and, um, so far you, you haven't mentioned anything about gardening, and, um, I just thought that it, uh, I'm, it's not okay, really. Oh, I'm not really sure what to make of that complaint because it's just not fair. Like, we're sat in a garden, what more do you want? I've got a watering can, it's got nothing in it, but we're in the garden. Well, I suppose you viewers, we do value your opinion to an extent. So, this is I'm Going to Grow a Girlfriend and it's by Stan Skinny. Oh, oh, oh. 
longer have to wait Cover her feet in soil So she can run away Well, I'm gonna take care of all her needs Keep her away from slugs and weeds Not gonna make like a tree and leaf When I finished I plant in my seed I do have some siblings at school, and one of them is my older brother, uh, Jimmy. But um, Jimmy does this thing where he like pretends that he doesn't know me, and it um, really gets on my nerves because like sometimes from I see him across the the, the hallway, I'll say Jimmy, Jimmy, but um, he um, his friends like point and laugh at me, and I just think you know you know what I've I've had it with him. We're not good friends anyway. I don't think we will be. OMG Oh, we're living a life of luxury. You've joined us on Beans on Toast and we are in the garden. Order up. Who's hey. Jamie? Oh, oh, I've made some beans on toast for you, Claire. I haven't put you hungry. Thank you, Jamie. We thought what you were going to turn up today. I've been here the whole time. Oh, my God. It's just going to be pranks, pranks, pranks now, Jamie's here. I know it is. Oh my, I don't know if I can handle it. We're not going to get a break, are we? Let's no. be honest. No way. Now, we really like music. I mean, we were saying before, there's so much bleeding music on this show. So this is everyone's favourite little boy band. It's the Easy Peelers. Well, hey, y'all. I got some mighty good news for you. That's right. It's the Easy Peelers back on CD-ROM. Yours to own. Barbershop Classics. All the family favorites. Blue Moon. Blue Moon. Blue Moon. You saw me standing alone. I Tears on my pillow. Dum, you don't remember me, but I remember you. Twas not so long ago, you broke. 
atrocity anymore. The revolution is upon us and we will strive for victory. Yes! We all unite as one. If we stick together, we will see this through to the end. Are you all with me? Yes! We strengthen the picket line, we unionize the workforce, and we hold out for better pay for the daily risks to our position. Yes! For it is the revolution of the People's Army of Bait Goods, and we vouch to never, ever give in. Yes! Yeah. We call upon everybody at this time. Now, Jamie, I'm liking having you around. Are you liking being on the show? I am, yeah. It, it beats being under the covers, that's for sure, yeah. I can imagine, Jamie. Um, right. So, that was music. We've had quite a bit of music, but this is some even more next level music because it's gardening week. It's white flowers.
So I've got a oh, game. Yeah. Oh, I like games. You like games. Well, this game is called Weeding, and I'm going to give you 20 seconds, and you've got to pull up as many weeds as you can find. Okay. Oh, sounds boring. Three, but... two, oh, God. Oh, go. I don't want to shove my knickers. <laughs> Four Mississippi. Is this weeds or is this flowers? Is this weeds or is this flowers? Oh, I don't even know what. What is even a plant? Take trackers, guys. Oh, oh my god, which one's even weeds? Ready? No! Five, four, three, two, one. Stop, stop, stop. I, oh, I, yeah. Oh, that was. That it's was tiring. I think I broke the back of it. Okay. Hang on, let me weigh them. Oh, mine's got hair in it. Oh, it's got mine's got spikes in it. 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 Mine's got spikes I said I wasn't like, gonna like the game, but I did like it because I won! Sorry. Right, let's move swiftly on. Sorry, We're guys. heading to the gallery. This first piece was sent in by Tom Bramall, who's seven and from London. And it's everybody's favourite Joe Wicks. Keep on moving, man. This piece was sent in by Simon, who's 12 from Lancaster. And it's a tin of spilt beans. What a bloody mess. But the painting's pretty beautiful. This next piece was sent in by John Lyser, who's 49 and from Burley in Wharfdale. It's a digital drawing of jeans on toast. Well, that's awesome. This piece was sent in by Chris Garner, who's eight, from Kendall, and it's Peter Rabbit in chalk on the pavement. Wowza woo! Your art is fan Debbie dozy and if any of you guys out there want to send some stuff in, please get on our website, get on our email, we're gonna look at it and we're gonna love it. Yeah, and just a little disclaimer, there's been a few complaints about people's uh, entries not being shown in the gallery. We do get round to everyone, but we have had so many submissions in the last few weeks, so just bear with us. Now, I wanted to say a huge, huge, huge happy birthday to my friend Susie, whose birthday it was yesterday. Nice one. And I want to dedicate this next segment to her. It's a giant squash. Deceive me! What trickery is at play in these skies? The most enormous fruit. Th think of the mouths it could feed. These fields have seen better days. I I'm starving. It casts a dark shadow upon our land. No good will come of this. I need to see its glory. It's speaking to me. What a longer child. Hear its song. Fruit means you no harm. Look away! Be gone, foul crumb! <laughs> <laughs> what 
Where are you guys? I can't see you. Psst, you. Come over here. Come over here, quick. Right, we're playing hide and seek with Jamie. He doesn't know where we are. But what I need to tell you is the answers to the quiz. Right, so it was, which city is nicknamed after a fruit? Was it A, New York, B, Old York, C, uh, Appleby, or D, Lincoln? A lot of you kids answered, but the winner was Harry Mills from Malcolm. So Harry, get us on the email and we'll get you on Duck or Jumper, because oh, it yeah. is fan flipping tastic. What are you, Claire, Claire saying something, what are you? Thank you to our Patreon subscribers. We've had one of you this week who's donated. Thank you to Susie Newton. And if you guys want to donate, we'll be ever so grateful. And it keeps us going and makes sure that we're churning out quality content every week. Thank you very much, guys. Now, we're going to head over to, what is it? Karaoke for the end of the world or something? Yeah, yeah, it is that. It's karaoke. Karaoke for the end of the world. By Rose Apostle Flight. Some people say that we are not doing enough to fight climate change but that is not true because to not do enough you have to do something and the truth is we are basically not doing anything. Yes, people are doing more than they can. But they are too few or too far away from home to make a difference. That the climate crisis is something that we all have created, but that is just another Thank you. 
change the hiding places as well. Yeah, it was a pretty close call with Jamie finding me. Well, I think we're pretty safe here. We're out of the woods, as it were. I know, here he comes! I've looked all over, I can't find him anywhere. Hey guys, I was supposed to be the pranks, they're playing pranks on you! Something tells me there's going to be plenty more pranks where that came from. Oh, yeah. So we'll see you next week here at Beats oh, yeah. on Time! Yeah.